XRP will run higher. We all know that. But the first break to the upside here, towards 0.7, maybe that can be a trap. Does the history support this? Is there any other indications which argue that point? We'll break that down here with maximum clarity about XRP and the possibilities which are right now increasing. Now, we talked about this a month back and right now you have the breakout, the retest and the bounce. That's not something small. And when you tie that up with what you can see in last three, four, five years, it does match. But there is a cautionary flag which you can use as a buying opportunity. But it's not just that. If you do look at the market, you have a ton of information like, okay, someone was dumping. Now their wallet is almost empty. Money flow is coming in in hundreds of millions. You're watching the sentiment rebounding. What will all of this, which is standing in front of you, will behave into? What can be the potential reaction? We're going to break all of that down here now. Welcome to the Sinopic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. Before we actually break things down, I would like to highlight something which Craig posted. Shout out to him. But if you remember, this is one of the thought processes which I've been reiterating over the months. The first one for the weekly, we got that. Now the possibility of the monthly is what we are all looking at. Some people say it's going to be 160. Some people say it's going to be 170. Some say it's going to be 100 or below. Now, it doesn't matter what you believe. The idea is the upside is there. Now, if you do understand this clearly, price drop in the recent days was mainly because of the selling pressure news, not just the selling itself, but the panic which was created by the news. So right now that news is easing and you can actually see the reality that they only have 280 million left. Now, it's not a small amount, but there is significant amount of money coming back into the market, buying all of that which they are already selling. So this 250 million coming in to USDC is relevant because people are slowly moving out into USDC from USDT in different geographical parts of the world. Can be Europe, it can be Asia, but you get the point. They're slowly moving off from USDT, but US is reinforcing on USDT. But now if you look at the sentiment, it kind of gives you the idea that after a few times, few weeks of going down, right now the volume is rebounding. It's slowly going back up. This is positive news. So keep in mind, as the reversal in the liquidity come back into the market, the idea of a regulator screwing the system of crypto is also slowing down. That's, again, critical at this point. SEC has decided to close its investigation into Paxos. That's Again, positive. So this is regarding Binance USD, the BUSD stablecoin. The war on stablecoin is actually happening, but the adoption of stablecoin is also heavy. Then you look at last 30 days, and this is what you see. The wallets, which is now with 10 plus coins from Bitcoin, is now increasing. And look at the trend over last two weeks, last three weeks, last month. You can actually notice that there was a double bottom. It didn't reduce from there. It started trending higher. So on technical terms, that's bullish. 
fundamental terms, that's again super bullish because now people believe the price is going to go higher from here and they are purchasing more. And it's not those people with maybe one Bitcoin or below, it's with 10 Bitcoin or above. So they are looking at significant amount of capital injection and holding, which kind of comes back into the key point, which we were discussing. The run up here should be the blow off the top. Dollar gives you an idea that it is breaking to the downside, which on a short term is true on the price action. Medium term, that means you're going to come back down to 102.44. That is cool, which will allow the markets to cool off. Right now, that dollar slowed down has actually given commodities like gold, silver, a push to the upside. They are now back at the resistance. We need to see if they break to the upside or not. Now jumping back into the Bitcoin side, then to the XRP. That's what matters in this video. You look at the MACD on a daily for Bitcoin. It's slowly starting to turn bullish. And we would like to see what this microstructure becoming a double bottom. And not only that. A run up like this, at least this, is what we want to see, which would actually, you know, look a little bit like this. But let's see if we have higher momentum. Because when you do look at a lot of these assets, say this is XLM, direct competitor, kind of for XRP, just one is wholesale, one is retail, but in the payment space, I mean, right? You're watching the RSI getting this low after a long period of time. And if you zoom back out, you can actually see it's never been there for like the last two, three years other than these limited scenarios, which usually marks the bottom. But there's a catch in this. On a three-day chart, for XRP, it's different. For XLM, it's different. XLM, when you see the RSI bottoming, that's the bottom. However, for XRP, it's not. Let me explain. If you take that low point of the RSI and put a horizontal line there, yes, that was the low, but then it went up first, saying I'm breaking the trend line, which was a trap. Then it came back down. Mm, that's true. Some big buying opportunity is coming. But don't go leverage with a micro breakout unless it start trending higher. Higher, high, higher, and low. Because it's not just once. You come back here and you put in the same vertical line at the bottom for the RSI. And what do you see? Here you didn't have a big bounce off for sure. But it tried to stay there and showed you I may bounce. And it didn't. It came back down to bottom where the divergence was live. And then it started grinding higher. Fine. So given that narrative, do we have a divergence now? No. That's the trouble. Because what's common in all of this is not just that but also the divergence formation. Price going down, RSI disagreeing. That came with the new local low on XRP terms. But then the confusing part or the troubling part is that Bitcoin should go down. Meaning XRP Bitcoin is showing it's going to go up where XRP still has a possibility of it's going down. Now, I would actually boil that down into this perspective. The current run up, which may be coming in XRP towards 0.7. If we don't break 0.75 to 0.78, that most likely is going to be a trap. Because if XRP is about to run higher against Bitcoin, and Bitcoin in itself is not running up and it's slowing down, and XRP here shows a higher odds for this. Uh, 
we should be cautious. That's all I would actually argue. We should be heavily cautious because if you do look at the RSI, it conveys another story, which is, yeah, we broke higher for sure, but then we came back down to retest that trend line. Yes, there is nothing wrong in a retest, but let's put that into perspective into the current trend line. A break here and a rally, then coming back down to the retest here, it would look almost similar to what we have seen. The difference with this trend line here without a bounce is you are trending sharply to the downside. Look at the trend of that angle, the trend angle here, compared with the last one and the current one. That kind of solves a lot of questions for us, giving the idea of, guys, guys, there can be a bounce, but don't go levered. Spot bites, okay, man. They're not going to kill you. It's your asset. It's just going to be a price fluctuation. And whales have actually done that over and over and over again. And if you have been in the market for five, six, seven years, or at least three years, you have already seen volatility. So you don't really care about that. So when XRP shows all of the story, total altcoin market also recognize that. This is the bottom. Now, why am I saying recognize that? When I say XRP still has a possibility of run up, but before that, we may have a big job. Because at the same time, these guys were highly correlated. Still, the low here was the low in the RSI and the price, same. No divergence, nothing. Agreed, that's good. So majority of assets on the other end may do that. Whereas XRP is heavily manipulated, so it should do this. There is no other difference. So if the entire market is saying, I'm at that local bottom, which it's like two years trend line, now you should not actually fluctuate and say, I'm going against that. It may not actually end well. So considering all these updates, now you would be like, okay, if XRP is about to run up to 0.7, there would be few assets in this market which would run maybe 50%, maybe 100%, maybe 200% on that same duration, right? So while some of these assets will do this, if you want to stay updated on that, join the SI family, use the link in the description below to get all the posts I do there. While the market gives you opportunity, use it for your own advantage. So guys, if you haven't smashed the like button, please do that for me. I appreciate that a lot. I hope the audio, the video didn't screw me up in this video. If it did, I'm sorry, most likely it did. Next video, I'm trying to reduce, treat the room in itself because of the echo and all. But as you can see, it's slow progress, right? But we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.